Hello. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to run provisioning from OpenAM to Active Directory. And we will use AD PowerShell connector for this provisioning. And uh, we will demonstrate uh, the configuration of OpenAM site. And we'll also uh, go through the installation steps of AD PowerShell connector. So first of all, we need to go to our OpenAM instance. And we will use web console and we need our admin credentials. In the top menu, we see the provisioning menu item and we will use connectors. And we see the list of connectors uh, that are already defined and uh, you can create a new connector if you want, but we will use existing connector for the demonstration. It is AD PowerShell connector. And uh, here uh, important is the name of the connector and the connector queue. Uh, connector queue will be used uh, during the installation of the connector and uh, it will uh, define uh, the queue uh, inside uh, the RabbitMQ bus uh, that will be used for a communication between OpenAM and external connector. So uh, we have uh, the connector queue now uh, and it is automatically given by OpenAM to you. So all you need is just to copy this value. And we'll go to our AD connector installer, double click, press install. Uh, we need to specify the connector folder here, leaving it by default. If you want, you can press uh, Save Debug Logs Enable checkbox, and uh, we have Remove Old Logs Enabled by default, so leave it as it is. Uh, we have a connector configuration page here, and uh, we will uh, give uh, our connector some name, let's say AD Connector. It can be any name you would like. Uh, so RabbitMQ host, it, by default, it is uh, it is the same as uh, the name or IP address of OpenAIM instance. So let's use the same one that we used in the web browser. Uh, username and password are configurable, so we will use just our test names for demonstration. Uh, port and virtual host we will leave by default, and what we will do is just copy uh, the connect connector queue here. And just press test connection. We see that it is successful and we can proceed. So connector performs uh, steps, configures Windows features, uh, starts and services, etc. And this is it. So connector is installed and we can go back to our OpenM application. And uh, the next thing that uh, I would like to show is the manage system configuration. Uh, which is mapped to the connector. So uh, managed system configuration um, can be treated like a configuration that will be used uh, for a particular connector to run uh, provisioning. So uh, we see that uh, we have Active Directory PowerShell managed system here. Uh, and uh, Actually, we see that uh, running connector status is active because we have just installed the connector and it is active. Uh, so you press edit. And uh, what we see here is the manage system configuration page. Uh, first of all, we need to specify the connector name. It is AD PowerShell connector, uh, which we have just seen. And uh, we need uh, to specify the host URL. Uh, host URL is uh, the AP address uh, or 
um, DNS name of uh, the instance of your Active Directory. And also you need to specify login ID and the password. Uh, these are uh, the credentials uh, that will be used for a provisioning uh, inside AD. So uh, we will use administrator here uh, just for the demonstration, but actually uh, when you run a real world, uh, world uh, scenario, uh, you need to create a special uh, account name and give uh, some particular permissions and uh, a delegation maybe on some organizational units or whatever you need to specify in your permissions. Uh, and um, when OpenAM sends any request to the connector, um, connector runs uh, the final actions as if this uh, account does. Uh, so we specify administrator here, just for, the, for a demo, and we specify the base DN for the user. So, uh, in this base DN, uh, we will have a new objects provisioned in case they do not have any other special configurations of organizational units, uh, etc. So uh, we specify a target system type. It is an active directory here. And uh, what we need to do is to go to the policy map. It is important part. And we see um, that we have user, group, computer policy that can be added, modified. So uh, we will go to user policy map. And uh, what we see here is uh, the mapping between the attribute names and uh, between uh, the policy. Uh, so uh, attribute name is a representation of uh, AD attribute in our case or uh, attribute inside any other linked system for other connectors. And a policy is defined uh, by using a groovy scripts um, that can be selected uh, here. Uh, so actually uh, in this case we, we say that uh, inside AD, there is um, some enabled parameter um, that uh, is translated to user account control. And this is defined by is enabled policy, uh, which, uh, uh, which uh, is defined by, by some internal rules that are configurable via Groovy script. So it is very flexible and uh, you can write any transformation script inside OpenAM uh, to uh, distinguish uh, how exactly this parameter should be uh, handled on a connector side. Uh, so uh, all these attribute names are defined inside our documentation and uh, you can take a look and uh, configure the attribute set as you wish. Mm, what is important is uh, that uh, you need to specify the principal name. Uh, so this principal will be used to, mm, to make match between OpenAM object, uh, not object, but instance, a user, and the object inside Active Directory. So by default, you see that it is a SAM account name and uh, you can specify any set of attributes that you like. So when you have a connector managed system configured, uh, you need to go to roles and more roles here and we see that uh, there is a role name uh, that is called uh, AD provisioning and it is it is mapped to managed system that is called Active Directory PowerShell. It is, it is uh, the same managed system that we have just seen. 
Uh, so when uh, this role is created, uh, we can proceed uh, to the provisioning and we will go to uh, menu item create a new user and uh, let's go to classic view uh, and let's give the name for example test uh, last name I don't know AD prof provisioning uh, and here uh, we can see the role parameter and we will select the same role that we have just seen it is an active directory powershell and uh, the role name here is ad provisioning uh, so um, let's define some values for number and uncheck notification delay and press save So we see that information was saved successfully and provisioning to OpenAM, uh, from OpenAM to AD is pending. And uh, let's go to PowerShell. Uh, by default, uh, we have uh, some account name that is combined uh, by setting the first name and the last name. So let's check. And we see that this user was created successfully. So it is the basic demonstration and uh, more information could be found in our documentation and uh, OpenAIM support team is always happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for watching.